Alright guys, I'm gonna make a quick tutorial on uh, different ways to have nodes communicate with each other. So I have four doors here and I have this uh, sphere and another button here. So these are all buttons for opening the door. So I do four different ways to communicate with them. So let's play it and show you what happened in here. So you got this here. This is by uh, parent-child hierarchy. This one is by signals and this one is by node group. So this will open all doors or close what's open already. There you go. And this one is just by using globals. And you can pass data with each one. So there you go. So this is sending a random color to that. So let's look at the code. Go to switch one. If you notice switch one is a parent of the door. No mind the offset, it's actually this door here. And what I do is get parent and then open door and then have to have pass there. Don't worry about that. So let me first uh show you the player. Don't mind all this code. This is just uh the player just has a recast and I just whenever I press the left mouse I check if it's colliding with something if it's null returns if it has method activate object so this method is on all all the buttons then I just call activate object and I print this just in case it's on there all right let's go back to the scene so with this method you have to make sure the object is like its parent is has the method as the open door method each door has the same function by the way so open door and I'm using an animation play on the doors so next one door 2 this one uses signals let's go in the code so I made a custom signal here and then we can Go there, go to nodes, and then you see switch to. He has a custom signal, and I connect it to the door. So I could do it again. So disconnect, go here, connect, find door two, connect it to the door, and then that's there. So I already had that set up. So I just tell it to open the door again. Then door three. This one uses call group. So what you could do here, every door that's in the same group of doors. So I actually added added it at the top of all doors. So remember, this is one script for all the doors. So it calls the group and then opens the door. Keep in mind, though, this is a very slow function to call. Like each door takes, I think they say a frame to call each function. Yeah, each member in the group it takes one frame to call each. So if you had say 60 doors for example, it would take a second to open all of them. If it's 60 frames per second. Then the final one is we're just using globals. So you'd uh, go to project settings, you had a script that you made, it's called globals. So it has a door variable. And I tell it to open door and it opens the door if it's not null. So on the door, where was it? Door four. I tell globals to tell it make the door variable be itself. Alright, and then on the ball now, I think we had the color group again. So I have color balls, so the ball is in a color group, color balls group. Then change color. And I give it this random color variable here and random color and I randomize it as well and then we can let's look at the ball so I added it to the color balls group and I'm ready and I have the mesh and I set active material shader param so I have a custom shader on it so I just set it to be the, the color and a new color that I passed in and that's it so we could play it again. And there you go. That one's opening, that one's 
one's opening. Just close it back. This one's open, all of them. And let's close them back so I could open this one. And then this changes color. Alright, guys. That's it. Have a good one.